Today we're cooking up something that might tempt your appetite, but as you can see, we are not in the kitchen yet because we're talking about what it takes to make the kitchen your main domain. Here with more is Chef David Pantone, Director of Culinary Education at the Lincoln Culinary Institute. He has the recipe on how you can obtain a top-notch education to becoming a top-notch Chef, good morning. Good morning, Golga. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here because I love to cook. Me too. <laughs> I know you do, and I heard you're great. I got to ask practice. you something. Yeah, practice makes perfect, right? All those cooking shows that I see, I love them all. Sometimes I just don't think the reality because, you know, hello? Drama, you know, drama, drama, drama. Drama, drama, The drama's good. But, you know, when someone is starting out and doing that training, what can they expect? I mean, how, when they get started. When they get started, they need to have the passion and the dream, and then they come to school and we can take it from there. We pull that out from their hands, teach them in their hands and their eyes what to look for. So we get them on the right track. And passion is really important when you're making food because I've seen people who make something and that person who just knows all about food, they come and they just razzle dazzle it like that. Yeah, grandma's food was made with love. And we thought, oh, that's so, that's so quaint how you said, no, that's real. It is. And let's talk about Lincoln Culinary Institute. Tell me why it stands out and why someone should go there because everybody has sometimes a dream of becoming that chef. Sure, well, we have a great curriculum, very, very detailed, very thorough. We have amazing chef instructors with real world experience mm. that can talk you right through it. They know the difference between the drama and the real world and they'll teach you that. We have beautiful facilities. And then the whole Lincoln company has this culture, the Lincoln Edge, that's more than just the technical skills. It brings in all of the professional skills, teach you how to succeed in life, to get past your obstacles. It's a very much a holistic approach. And I heard in a couple of locations, you have even something that you're going to add, which is my favorite, pasta. Let's talk <laughs> about this. It's not just pasta. Not just pasta, but Italy. It's an Italian culinary arts program. So you study in the United States first, then you visit Italy and you study in Italy and you do an intern or externship in Italy. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Now that is the yeah. real big thing there. That's to go to Italy and live it. Yeah. Now here's another question I have. A lot of people, for example, they know about cooking and they'll open, let's say a pastry shop or a cupcake shop. And that's all well and good. That's fine. But I, I think if you're going to start, you should kind of know the whole thing, all areas. The more you know, the more successful you can be, the more you'll grow. It's food. All food, whether it's pastry or meat or vegetables or beer or wine, the more you know about it, the more opportunities you have. And speaking of opportunities, I, I, before it used to be just kids getting out of high school and then they also want to become a chef and that's happening. But it's also kind of taken a different turn where doctors and lawyers, you've talked to me about this, now say, hey, I want to do something else with my life. So you got all facets. Everybody from 17 to 70 years old, from riding a bicycle to school to driving a Mercedes, Everybody wants a little piece of it. You, you have to have something that you can love and be passionate about. If you're going to do it so many hours a day and for so many years, you got to love it. So if somebody wants to be an executive chef, for example, what kind of courses would, would they take? They'd take our culinary program where we have meat classes, seafood and poultry mm. classes, vegetable classes, and management classes. To be the E, the capital E, an executive chef, you have to have good management skills too. I'm a carnivore. Did you know that? I heard that. <laughs> I love meat. Okay, and for example, I had once thought of becoming a chef, and I love to cook. You know that. I'm not as good as you, but I'm okay for, you know, for what I do. A lot of people will say, you know, Olga, there's no time. I have other obligations. I have the kids, or, you know, it's not like that anymore. Yeah. It, it, it is possible. You're putting up roadblocks, Olga. We, <laughs> we take roadblocks away. We have classes in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening four days a week so that you have all weekend to do everything else that you need to do. We are very cognitive of your schedule and, um, and all of the real life things that go in there. And real life would be finances too. Is there accommodations there as well? We, as much of an expert chef as I am, we have uh, experts to do financial aid and all kinds of loans and they are just fantastic at that. It really is a great career. It can be and it is, yeah. How long have you done it? I started washing dishes 37 years ago and haven't left the kitchen yet. Thank you so much. Very much my pleasure, thank it's you. It's been a pleasure to have you. And of course, if you'd like to learn more, just visit the website, it's lincolnedu.com, that's lincolnedu.com to learn more, or you can just go to our website, thebalancingact.com, and of course, get cooking, right? Let's see you in the kitchen. Pow! <laughs>